Hey, what's up you guys? Cryptozoology here. Today I have a super awesome video for you guys. I'm going to be showing you how to make this small little farmhouse. And along with showing you how I built it, I'm also going to give you kind of my design process and kind of my thoughts behind the build. Starting with the layout, I decided to do something a little bit different. So instead of just doing a basic rectangle kind of house, I actually did two rectangles connecting into each other. And then I also added this little bit of a tower to the side and that's just eight blocks tall, which isn't very tall, but given the scale of this build, I think it fits quite well. And then for the rest of the walls, we're just gonna be bringing them up by four blocks. And that's just gonna connect all the way around and also onto that other kind of green and pink rectangle. So all connected up, that kind of gives us the layout of what this house is gonna be. And then we're also just adding these stone kind of blocks there, and that's gonna help with building the roof a little bit later. After that, I decided to add some support beams and this is really going to help add some depth to the build instead of it just being these flat gray walls. And on top of that, it's also going to make it look a lot more kind of rigid and structurally sound with having these support beams instead of just flat walls with a roof on top of it. So that's going to fit really nicely into the build. And we're also going to be adding a little bit of a peak that connects off of those support beams. So just using a lot of spruce here because we can use those uh, spruce trap doors to add, I guess it's just two pixels of depth, but it really helps a lot to just make it look a little bit thicker and stand out. And then we're just gonna be adding the exact same design onto the other side of that rectangle. The hardest part of this build is definitely the roof, but don't be too overwhelmed. We'll just take it a block at a time. And a little build technique that I'm doing here is using a slab and then a stair on top to kind of build up this roof line. And most people would do a stair and an upside down stair, but doing this slab uh, lets a bit of more of the wall show. And I really like that look, especially on smaller builds, because it really kind of helps the roof not overwhelm the rest of the build. So that's definitely something you guys can try in your own builds. And then I'm basically just connecting it onto this other side and I'm going to do the exact same design, just mirrored. But don't bring it all the way to the other side, just stop right where that arrow is because the other roof is going to connect up into there a little bit later. So with the trim of that rectangle done, we're going to be starting on the next kind of rectangle and we're going to be doing a bit of a different design for this roof. So instead of using the stairs, I'm actually using some slabs here. And using these kind of different uh, roof lines or different kind of peaks really helps add some interest instead of everything just being exactly the same. And then we're just going to start connecting that into the other roof line and you can kind of see how this whole thing is going to start linking up. So moving to the back of the house, we're going to keep building up this roof. We're almost done with the outline now. We're basically doing the same design that we were doing at the very beginning using the stair and the slab. And I kind of like this design like I was saying. And a lot of you guys have been asking me how I design roofs and this is basically how I do it. I just start with the layout of the house build up the walls, and then I kind of piece together the roof based on that. And we're just going to throw some stone back in there to cover up that gap. So now this is the hardest part of the build, guys. If you can do this, you can do the entire build. You just got to do a temporary block there, throw a slab underneath, and then another temporary block, and another stair. I promise if you can do that part of the build, you'll have no trouble with the rest of it. So we're just connecting up the last little bit of the outline of the roof, just using an upside down stair there and finishing the rest with slabs. And then you can see that matches the front of the house. And then also to add a bit more depth and interest, we're just gonna be adding some uh, dark oak trap doors just on the ends there. And like I said, that's just gonna add that two pixel kind of more depth, but it really helps a lot in the long run. With the base outline of the roof done, we can connect up the ridges just using some slabs here. And on these other ones, we're just going to be adding a single slab as the roof is going to kind of cut across here, as you'll see. So this one can just connect straight into the other one. And that's kind of why we used that same design on the other side. So with that in, we're just going to have to throw some temporary blocks there so that we can place some stairs going the right direction. And we're just going to be filling in this entire thing with spruce. A technique I really like to use is using a different block for the inside of the roof than I used for the trim. This really adds some contrast of color, and if you notice, a lot of builds that have just one color for the roof often look really flat and kind of boring. So sometimes it fits, and of course it's personal preference, but I really like to do a different color for the inside than I used for the trim. And again, just using some trapdoors there to add a bit more depth and a bit more variety. 
And on this other side, we're simply just using stairs. Couldn't be any simpler. Looks really nice there, like I said, with that trim. And it gets a little bit complicated here. You can just throw a stair right there. And you know, it's kind of hard if you look at it from that side, but if we just start with the kind of area that we know and fill that in, then we can simply just kind of piece in the rest. And that's what I really do for complicated roofs is just do what you're comfortable with and then start slowly piecing it together and together. Like you can see there, once I had that other side in, it was super simple to see where those blocks would go. So next we're gonna build up this tower. I've really been adding a lot of towers to my builds lately because they really just kind of add some interest and kind of height variety and really just switches it up from being just a basic kind of small little house. As I mentioned at the start of the video, this tower is only eight blocks tall and it's just three by three. So you really don't need a whole lot of space for this and it's not, not gonna take up a whole lot of space, but I think it really adds a lot to the build. And we're just gonna be using dark oak and spruce for this. Instead of just doing it all dark oak or all spruce, I'm gonna be kind of mixing it half and half. And that's gonna also add some contrast of color and I think it's gonna look really nice in the end. And I'm also just adding some trap doors to add that little bit of height variety and a bit more depth. And as you can see, I'm also gonna add some to the side there with the spruce. And then I have a really nice peak for this that I'm gonna be doing just using some stairs at the top and then adding two full blocks. And on the bottom one, we're actually gonna add some trap doors and that's gonna make it look a little bit more kind of slanted, you could say. And then on top, we're just gonna add a wall. You can add any kind you want and then a fence on top. And if you want it even pointier than that, you can use an iron bar. So this really cool design that I used in this build was using some fences and some chain actually to add a bit more depth. So at the front of the tower, I'm just going to be adding some fences to the bottom as well. And then in between those, I'm going to be adding some chain. And I've never kind of done this before, but I actually think it looks quite nice because it's a small kind of way to add some depth to a 3x3 structure without it looking kind of too bulky or cluttered. So it just really adds that kind of one block of depth and I really like it. So we can punch out some windows here and you can either use glass or I've been using trap doors in a lot of my builds. And then we're gonna punch out a spot for the door here. And above the door, I'm gonna be using an upside down stair. And that's just gonna add half a block of depth, which I think looks really nice and helps break up that flat wall. And then we can also punch out another spot for a window in the front here. And again, using those oak trap doors. I think it looks really nice. So next we're going to be adding a bit of a chimney and I'm going to be doing this using bricks as well as some uh, granite to add a bit more kind of contrast of color and some texture variation. And you can also add a campfire on top of this if you want and cover it with some trapdoors. But for this design I decided to just use a wall and a little bit of a flower pot on top. I think it looks really nice. And then I just added some walls to the side here to add a bit more depth and kind of look like it's kind of pushing outside of the wall there and it's not all sitting on that one block. So after that, we're going to add a bit of texture variation and I'm doing this with mossy uh, cobblestone, cobblestone, andesite, and gravel. Bit of a mouthful, but as you can see, it's going to really help a lot with this build. Instead of just leaving everything with the basic stone, just go around all the walls and just kind of switch them up with these blocks and start with the darker colored blocks at the bottom and then kind of work your way up to those lighter blocks is going to really help make a nice gradient. With the texture variation done that actually kind of finishes up the house but I'm going to be adding a little bit of a garden or nature area you could say just using some leaves and then some fences to look like the branches and I think this looks really nice and if you kind of imagine this like on a farm you can imagine all the fields surrounding this and then the farmer has their own little kind of nice garden or nature area where you know they wake up in the morning and they're just relaxing watching the sunrise really nice stuff and then on the inside we're just going to be adding some dirt and if you're building this not in a flat world which i'm guessing you are you can kind of make a pathway leading to this and depending on the path you choose you can kind of change the blocks that you'd use in here so instead of using coarse dirt like i'm using and I also mix in some brown concrete powder. You know, you can use stone as well, or just leave it grass or kind of whatever you want to do. And then I'm also just adding a bit of grass and ferns in here to add a bit more color. And then like I said, yeah, I'm adding some brown concrete powder. And that just kind of helps break up the repeating pattern of this coarse dirt. And as we place these last few blocks in, that's actually going to finish up this tutorial. If you guys enjoyed this kind of video format of showing you how to build something, but also giving my kind of design process into it, let me know by hitting that like button and I can definitely do some more of these.
But with that, the build is done. I really hope you guys enjoyed this build. I had so much fun making it. And if you built this along with me, kudos to you. Thanks for watching guys and happy building.